Me Grimlock have to go potty! Stop, drop, and stock, because today we're taking a look at Transformers Studio Series 86 Grimlock. This behemoth of a figure just had to get a review. It's too massive not to. Keep stalling, fatty! Anyways, like always, let's move on to the accessories. He comes with a massive gun, but no sword, and the gun can peg onto his hand. He also comes with Wheelie, a limited articulation figure that has a slingshot as an accessory, and Wheelie is pretty cute. Again, minimal, but not bad. Moving on to Grimlock himself, this is a spitting image of how he appeared in the cartoon, and I am in love. The blue visor, the gold, the kibble wings, this is Grimlock. And he's essentially kibble-free, because let's be honest, the dino wings and T-Rex head on the back is so iconic, it's basically part of Grimlock's design now. Overall, this is fantastic. Articulation is perfect. There is not a joint missing, and he is super poseable. Everything just feels solid here. And on to size comparisons. And whoa, he is literally two heads taller than Optimus and Megatron. This figure is so big. It's the size of old leaders. I am shocked. Hasbro, where did this come from? And finally, on to transformation. It's plain and easy. It does throw a few surprises at you, but this is Grimlock's transformation, no doubt. And his dinosaur mode is amazing. A little fat but hyper show accurate, and it looks incredible. The dino head looks good, however, the screw holes are annoying. This is 2015 Hasbro stuff. But other than that, this is perfect. And this mode does have some good articulation. Not much, but it's there. And of course, Wheelie can tap onto the top to recreate the scene from the 86 movie that nobody cares about. This is a long enough explanation. Goodbye. And that has been my review of Studio Series 86 Grimlock, a stunning figure that is massive and is fun. I highly recommend him. This has been such a fun figure. Thanks for watching. See ya, see ya.